Recommender Systems. Well, most of you that are watching my videos probably know what they are and what they do, but today I want to dive into how they work and set the stage for a three-part series where we'll eventually cover various types of recommender systems and some of the common issues that arise when building such models. So, let's start by imaging that we have the following simplified scenario in our bookstore app. 4 users and 5 books that we can recommend, which create a user book matrix of 5x4, five, 5 rows for our books and 4 columns for our users. Here, in this matrix, each entry is a rating from 1 to 5. Now, not every user has rated every book, which leaves us with a puzzle. How can we predict those missing ratings and suggest books that each user may really enjoy? This is the fundamental challenge that recommender systems aim to solve. In a cont-based recommender system, instead of just relying on how users rate the books, we look at the intrinsic features of the books themselves. Think about books being characterized by qualities like their genre, such as fantasy, thriller or romance. And with these features in hand, we create a profile for each book that describes its content. Now, for each user, we assume that they have certain preferences for these features. We represent each user with a set of parameters, a kind of personal weighting of how much they care about fantasy, thriller or romance genres, which we'll call Tita. For instance, if a user loves fantasy books like The Lord of the Rings, their parameter for the fantasy feature would be high. While, if they are not particularly fond of romantic plots, their weight for the romance feature may be lower. And, when it comes to predict how a user might rate a book, we compute the dot product of the user's parameter vector with the book's feature vector. In simpler terms, we multiply each of the book's features values by their corresponding weight in the user's profile and sum them up. That sum gives us the predicted rating for that book by that user. Now, to train our model and figure out the best parameters for each user, we set up an optimization problem. Essentially, we want our predictions to be as close as possible to the ratings we already have in our user book matrix. And we do this by minimizing a loss function, which, in this case, is typically the sum of the square differences between the actual ratings and our predicted ratings. More often than not, we also include regularization terms to ensure that our model doesn't overfit the data. But the core idea is to adjust to user's parameters so that our predictions match the observed ratings as closely as possible. And voila! Here we have it, the content-based recommender systems explained very briefly. In the next video, we'll explore collaborative filtering where the emphasis shifts from the content of the books to the relationships and similarities between different user tastes. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of the fundamentals of content-based recommendations. And please hit the like button if you found this explanation helpful. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.